Santa Rosa, Peru is less than 10 minute boat ride dock to dock across the Amazon River. It is certainly a must visit town while in Leticia and it's considered the best place to have authentic Peruvian food in the Amazonas region. After about five minute tuk-tuk ride, I arrived to Precious, the Amazonas restaurant, which is a very well-known restaurant in Santa Rosa, and it's highly recommended. One of the things that I always face when traveling to any Latin country is the assumption that I speak Spanish. And I usually go along with that assumption using my very limited Spanish vocabularies until they realize I actually don't speak Spanish. It's delicious. Okay, typical for you? Okay. As far as the food, I definitely recommend ceviche which is Peru's natural dish, along with the traditional guanamana juice. Mm. <laughs> After the delicious food, it was time to walk around the village. Although there is no border control between the three countries, and anyone could cross the border without showing any documentations, People here are very patriotic, and they show vigorous support to their countries. Peruvian think they have the best food, Colombians think they have the best class, and Brazilians, well, they have soccer. Since the village is located on the river bank, all houses are built to stay clear of the flood during the rainy season which I was told is becoming drier and drier, and the rivers are receding to new levels every year. So everywhere around the village, you will hear blasting music. I think it's a sign of happiness. All over. And it's loud. It takes less than an hour to walk the entire village. And other than the food, there's not much to do. So right before sunset, we headed back to Leticia to get ready for the next day to go to the Brazilian side, Tabitanga. Hector, ¿cómo se llama este pueblo? Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Ah, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Goodbye, Santa Rosa. <laughs>